I guess the proudest thing in my career is the overall success of TLC. Um, and we, we've been through our fair share of <laughs> turmoil and experiences, and I think we've done a pretty good job at sticking together at the end of the day, you know, coming together. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Any comment on the charges? What'd you do it? Did you get beat up by him? What'd you defend? I grew up in a home where there were so many restrictions that by the time I got on the street, I was just, I didn't know what to do with myself. You know, and I don't know, I just, I was, I, I was drinking. So that fueled a lot of situations. And I, and one day I just woke up and said, oh, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I gotta find me. So that's what I had been searching for. And now that I have found me, the same me that I used to, um, that I remembered from being a child, you know, I feel a, a, a sense of peace and, and I like the way it feels. I am a person who is still searching for who I am. Um, along my search, I know that there are a lot of things that I would like to fulfill. And one of those things are to definitely improve the quality of life in my life and the lives of others. So now that I'm in this, this group, TLC, and I'm doing my solo record and we've been so successful, what better platform than to reach out to others and um, give them words of encouragement. So. Um, Definitely do want to use my music and uh, my popularity to reach out. There's um, a few tracks that are close to me on the album. One is Let Me Live. I love that song um, because of the message in it, you know, and I want to live for a long time, so that's perfect, you know. Um, the song about my father is very close to me. Usually it takes me a minute to write, but that one just, it just seemed to flow. I just started writing it out, you know, because it was, it was so personal. Um, let's see, uh, most of the songs are personal, but I think those are the, probably two of the most personal, and the Tupac song, I like that. Yeah. yeah, it did feel real, recording that song with him, and um, there were a lot of lyrics that were on the track that you, you guys don't hear because I didn't put them on the track. And some of the stuff he said was just spooky. I mean, <laughs> it was like, how could you say these things? And it, and it sounds like you said them today. You know, they were just spooky. When I come back, expect me to come back like Jesus. <laughs> and some things I can't even put on the album, yeah. I do believe that there is an afterlife, and I do believe that your life is defined by what you believe in. And I don't know what Aaliyah's beliefs were, but um, um, she's. I'm sure that there are people who are close to Aaliyah who will definitely feel her presence, even though she's not here in this physical realm. Music can be very healing. And I hope that when people listen to my album, that um, it, it, it gives them a very good feeling, no matter what kind of situation they may be in. Um, even if they're just at a pool party and everyone just wants to have a great time, you know, I hope that people can put my album in and just listen to it from top to bottom and, and feel good. Oh, 